Hey guys, welcome back to the Parkiverse. This week, I bring you guys another user requested setup. This time, a black and white theme with a score of over 600 for study by the artist Chaos Ringen. This is going to be another one in my series on how to customize your home screen like a pro. A series where I show you how you can easily and quickly get these stunning minimalistic setups on your Android phones. So if you haven't already, make sure you check out the previous episodes. And following that format, I'm going to show you how you can take a basic home screen setup and turn it into something like this. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. And don't forget to submit your live wallpaper and home screen requests right from within the Epic Live Wallpaper app. Just head to the live section and then click on the request button. And remember to boost your favorite ones using both the heart and the booster buttons here. So here it is, an elegant black and white theme perfect for you minimalists out there with a singular date and time widget located at the top of the screen. Truly a super simple setup that anyone can try. This setup will be running Nova Launcher using KWGT widgets and to complete the look I'll be using the hex installer for system wide customization. The link for these and everything else that you're going to need are going to be in the description below. Now as a quick note, if you want that full screen edge to edge look for your home screen setup without those ugly signal bars, then make sure you disable the notification bar within Nova Launcher settings. And to get this comfy icon layout, make sure to head to Nova's home screen settings and change the grid size to 5 across and 11 down. And to really clean up your home screen, I highly recommend you turn off icon labels and make sure your home screen icon size is set to 100%. Next, let's customize the home screen dock. But first, make sure it's enabled here, and then let's move on to the dock background section. Now here, we want to start by heading into the custom shape, and simply copy these settings here. Making sure all of the corners are set to squarical at 70%, with padding enabled. As for the color, we're simply going to use the preset white here. And finally, for the dock background, we're going to set transparency to 12%. Now the final thing we're going to do is head back up and still within the dock section, we want to head into the option for icon layout. Here, we want to first untick the box for matching desktop size and then set the icon size to 130% to give it that bold look. Now that we have that out of the way, the icon pack that we're using in this setup to give us this penciled black and white look similar to the artwork is the dark matte icons. Just simply head to Nova's look and feel section and set the pack as your system icons. And before we go any further, make sure you grab this unique wallpaper from my very own custom creation app. Just simply head to the live video section and you'll find it there. And remember, if you have any wallpaper suggestions of your own, make sure to let me know from right within the app itself and boost the ones that you want to see next. Now before we move on to the widget setup, as a quick note for anyone like me who may encounter this issue where one or more of your app icons look a bit odd when you apply the icon pack, just remember you can change these icons by simply long pressing the app clicking the edit button and then tap on the app image. Now from the list of your installed icon packs, simply head into the dark matte pack and select a new icon to use either through this list or by simply searching for a specific one. Now that that's taken care of, let's move on to the widget setup. Indicating the date and time from the minimal KWGT pack is 11, which we're going to alter slightly to match the coloring of the rest of our home screen. So let's start by loading in the KWGT layout to our home screen, and then we want to resize it so it looks something like this. Now for a quick guide on KWGT manipulation, make sure you check out the video in the top right corner. Now with this widget, we're going to start by first adjusting its size so it better fits our canvas. For this, we're going to head into the layer tab, select the scale option by simply using the tick boxes 
and then click on the calculator button in the top right corner. Now simply adjust its size so it perfectly fits our canvas. And once you're happy, let's alter that default white color to better match our theme. For this, within the item tab, we want to use the plus button in the top right corner to add in a new shape item. Next, we want to head into it and start increasing its size so it fills up all of our canvas. And once done, let's head into the paint tab and change its color using the color code on screen, taking it from the default white to a dark gray. Now all that's left to do is change its filter from normal to multiply, applying our color change to all of the other layers. And of course, before you leave, don't forget to hit save. And wrapping up the setup, we're using Hex Installer. This is going to give you a nice AMOLED friendly black backdrop with the colors of the theme splashed across the whole system including the notification panel. Just use the color codes that I'm showing on screen. And alternatively, you can get a similar result using the app One Shade. If you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. And if you have any theme suggestions or requests, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. See you next time on Into the Parkiverse.